Hi, I'm Jack from legalexpert.co.uk and in this video I'm going to be going over bus wet floor accident personal injury claims procedure. At Legal Expert, we're rated 4.8 out of 5 stars and we offer 100% no win, no fee claim service, which means that there's nothing to pay if you lose. Get the maximum compensation that you deserve. We have specialist solicitors with up to 30 years experience. In order to find out if you can claim compensation, call our free phone helpline now on 0800 652 7676 or visit our live chat service at legalexpert.co.uk. If you have any questions about bus, wet floor, accident, personal injury claims procedure, just leave a comment below. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe, as we'll be uploading more content just like this on a regular basis. Now, when it comes to looking at the procedure for bringing a bus, wet floor, accident, personal injury claim, it's important that we establish that there isn't one dead set method in order to guarantee that your claim will be successful. So, it's important that you understand that depending on the circumstances which have led to you bringing a bus, wet floor, accident, personal injury claim, some of the steps we're about to go over may not be necessary, or there may in fact be additional steps to be taken in order to ensure we do all we can to bring a successful claim for your bus, wet floor accident personal injury claim incident. Now we'll touch upon this a little bit later on in the video but first let's take a look at the steps that we recommend you take as part of your bus wet floor accident personal injury claim procedure. Ensure your safety. Whilst we are in the business of fighting for those who believe that they're entitled to compensation, in the immediate aftermath of an accident, the most important thing that anyone can do is ensure that they are as safe and as well as possible. This can be done by requesting assistance from those around you. It may be necessary to seek medical assistance in the form of first aid or calling an ambulance. Either way, we believe that it's always important to have your injuries assessed by a medical professional. Gather evidence. The previous point leads right into this one, as the records from having your injuries assessed by a medical professional will count as evidence in helping demonstrate the impact that the incident has had on you. You should also ensure that, if possible, an accident report is completed at the location of the incident as close to the time as the incident as possible. This will be another useful piece of evidence in helping demonstrate what has happened. It's also advisable for you to collect contact information from any witnesses, as well as making a note of if the incident may have been caught on CCTV. Keep track of your losses. When people think of bringing a claim for compensation, it's often just the award for injury that they may think about, but from our experience, the impact of an accident can reach much further than just the injury itself. We've dealt with cases which have resulted in victims having to take time off work in order to recover, or in some cases, they've no longer been able to do their job due to the extent of the impact of the accident. Now, a victim's quality of life may suffer after an accident, and this could result in lasting changes to how the individual and those around them go about their day-to-day -day lives. An example of this would be if a victim of an accident suffered injuries which resulted in them having to use a wheelchair on a permanent basis. The cost of adaptations to their home as well as the cost of jobs and services which they previously would have been able to complete themselves but now have to rely on someone else to carry out may be claimed for. In essence, as a result of your accident, if you had to spend any money that you wouldn't have spent were it not for the accident or have found yourself the victim of lost potential earnings, you should keep track of all of this. Whilst not everything may be claimed for, it's always better to keep track of everything so that you're not unnecessarily out of pocket for something which could be claimed for. Bringing a claim. So you've been in a personal injury accident. You've had the time to assess the extent that the personal injury accident has impacted your life. You've kept track of all of your losses and you've done all you can to ensure that there is sufficient evidence to demonstrate that your personal injury accident was caused by the negligence of others. You're now in a position to bring a claim, but how do you do this? Because of all of the variables involved in ensuring that a claim for compensation is successful, we highly recommend that you rely on the services of a claims expert, one that has experience in dealing with cases just like yours, which is why we recommend that you contact a personal injury claim specialist like ourselves, legalexpert.co.uk. 
As long as you're not already bringing your claim with another solicitor, we offer a completely free, zero obligation consultation, where we can talk through your claim with you in order to help you establish what your options are. If we're able to assist you in bringing your claim, as long as you're honest in your account of how the accident happened, if for whatever reason your claim wasn't successful, then there wouldn't be a penny to pay. So, why is all of this important when bringing a bus, wet floor, accident, personal injury claim? In order to bring a successful claim, you must be able to demonstrate that you were injured due to the negligence of someone else. First and foremost, ensuring your own safety immediately after the accident. This will help demonstrate that you were conscious that the accident may have impacted your health, but you did everything reasonably possible in the circumstances to protect yourself. The evidence you will have gathered will help demonstrate not only that the accident did happen, but also how it happened. Then, by keeping track of the financial impact of the accident, you'll be helping to calculate a sum which should hopefully reflect an amount required in order to fairly compensate you for the accident and the impact it had had on your life. Finally, by using the services of a bus, wet floor, accident, personal injury claim specialist like ourselves, your case will be handled by those who will be much more familiar with bringing compensation claims than most individuals. But we'll also be taking the burden and stress of fighting your claim away from you, so that you're able to focus on your recovery and moving forward with your life. So call our free phone helpline now to see if we're able to assist you in bringing a bus, wet floor, accident, personal injury claim. You can reach us on 0800 652 7676. Our team may be able to discuss how much compensation for bus accident, average payout for slip and fall UK. If somebody accidentally slips on the floor, what will you do? Slipping on a wet floor is what type of hazard? How much compensation for slipping on wet floor? Slipped on wet floor, injury bus accident law UK, and slipping on wet floor with no sign. Don't forget to subscribe as we'll be uploading helpful videos just like this one on a regular basis, or you can head over to legalexpert.co.uk where you can read community questions on our forum, get free advice on our live chat, and seek assistance for compensation on a no-win, no-fee basis with your personal injury claim.